welcome back to part two. Today, um, now I'm going to be showing you how to set up your uh, keylogger. So, with your FTP host, it's whatever you created for your website earlier. So, for me, it would be hacking fever dot top cities dot com and then uh, now you for your remote folder uh, leave this part for later make sure to keep your port 21 and now let's uh, get out of here just push this down I guess for now so that way we can set up the rest so what you're gonna want to do is first check your email for uh, your password let's see so you got my password in there. I will change it by the end of this video, so there's no point trying to steal this. See how I got, you get a weird password. You can change it later once you actually sign into Top Cities. I'll just use, I won't do it for now for the sake of the video. So now that we know what the username and password is, we need to still create a folder. So let's open up the FileZilla client that we downloaded earlier. Now you'll get this weird uh, interface. Let's click on File, right there, File, Site Manager, and down here, you'll get a site, like your sites. Say, add new site, call it whatever you want, but for your host, change it to um, get whatever it was. So, hacking, hacking fever dot top cities. Oh, I did a slash. Hard to do one-handed. Dot top cities. Dot com. Your port is 21. And for logon type, I uh, change it to normal. And now for your user and password, it's whatever you got in the email. For your user and password, let me just uh, enter that now. So yeah, you can just copy and paste, or you can change it in this. Uh, your, copy and paste your password, or just change your password. And see, so yeah, I replace your password with whatever it was. Like that. So now that you're set up, make sure your uh, server types FTP, and then click Connect. You'll get all this stuff. This is directly listing su successful. You'll get data and index.htm. Do not delete anything here. Just right click and say create directory. And right here, just uh, type in logs or whatever you want. Just remember, just try to remember what it is. Delete that forward slash. Click OK. Now you got a new folder called logs. Now you can close out of FileZilla for now. And then uh, go back to this interface, the this one, with no installation. So now your remote folder we just created out with FileZilla is logs or wherever you wanted. Your username is the same thing you entered for FileZilla. Uh, so let me put this down for now. Password is. Can't paste it. All right. So now that you have this right here. It's all set up and ports the same as the one you set up for FileZilla. Let's click test. Join Max Leelog test after you that's whatever delivery has been completed successfully. Click OK and now to see what it means, open up FileZilla again. And then let's go back to File, Site Manager. So this things up and then click connect. It will save it automatically for you. And then now you'll see in your logs folder that you made, you double click on it, see AKL test. That means it actually did show up. You can delete it if you want, you don't need it anymore. But, so now that you have, uh, now that you know it's working, go back to, close out of that, go back to this keylogger setup, click on the next button. Sorry, it's not very fuzzy. For control, uh, it'll say right here. Click out of enable screenshots capturing. 
and click next. Now you can change your icon to whatever you want, but for the sake of this, I'll just leave it as that. And you can, uh, it'll show where it's going to be sent to automatically for now. But you're going to want to make sure you can find it, so let's just change it to your desktop. So it'll be under C slash users. Uh, and then this is backward slash for some reason, the name. Uh, then, see, so you'll have in also backward slash again, slash desktop, backward slash install.exe. That's what it's going to be called. You can change it to whatever you want. Just make sure it's .exe at the end, or if you connected it to another program. So yes, that, just leave it at that. So now, uh, this button right here, just click out of it because you don't need that. Just click next. So it'll tell you a summary of what's going to happen. Finish. Package created successfully. And there it is, right there. Now I'll show you that, prove to you that it actually works in, uh, in just a couple minutes. Okay, now that your installer is created, you just need to somehow get it to your computer. This can be done by email if you don't have physical access to that computer currently, or just from a pen drive some way. Emails usually don't accept it though because they know it's a virus or they just don't accept EXEs at all. So now you're going to want to open up the computer with your pen drive in. Open up that. And then just drag and drop your keylogger in. I don't really want to show you my files. So now that your keylogger is in uh, there and ready to go, you can just remove your pen drive or whatever you have. Now I'll put it on my. Uh, now I'll go to my other computer and show you how it actually works. Okay, so now that I'm on a new computer, see I'm using Windows XP instead of Vista, so this is different. You're gonna, with your pen drive in or wherever you have to send it over to another computer, send your keylogger over to another computer, you just wanna go to my computer, wherever your computer's called. And then you're gonna wanna go to your drive, and then uh, drag out whatever your installer was the keylogger was so that way it's out on your desktop Keep, hide it somewhere like in a special folder that no one ever look in or you can just double click on it once see nothing will happen but it's actually key logging right now so then let's just uh, put this let's just leave it here for now on the desktop but to show you that it works I'll open up Mozilla Firefox let this load. Now that lo loaded up, let's just go to youtube.com. YouTube.com. Enter. And then that's all I'm going to use for now because I'm running out of time. Okay, so now I'm going to pause and go back to my other video, my other computer, and then show you how to do it. Now back to your main computer. Open up FileZilla again. Connect back to your site that we've set up. And then let's go to that logs file. Okay, so now back in your logs folder, you'll see you have a new HTM file. It'll download it to your desktop automatically. You can just load it up and I'll show you everything you went to. Uh, by the time it clicked on it, see all those sites. Okay, so now that, um, now thank you for watching and please visit Hacking Fever for more videos.